think it's best to admit him to a hospital. That's impossible. He has to be able to give the mass tomorrow. Let's leave him to rest. I'm counting on you. Don't say a word to anyone about what you've seen here. Monsignor, what are you doing here? I want to see him. You can't. He's ill. Then all these people out here, what are they waiting for? They are prayer groups. This is a special day for them. Why? Today is the 50th anniversary of his stigmata. In that case, I should give him my best wishes too. Have you no heart? Don't you see how he is? Why must you torment him to the very end? Who is out there? No one, Father. Why do you lie to me? Let him in. He wants to see you. Leave us alone. Who sends you here? No one. I come of my own free will. Well, then I may not answer you. I know you won't do that. You're too convinced of your sanctity. I'm just a poor friar. But thousands of fanatics follow you, come to celebrate you. Hmm. There's nothing more to celebrate. I'm dying. Then the moment has come to tell the truth. What else do you want to know? Everything that you have kept hidden. You've persecuted me for 50 years. Hasn't that been enough? 50 years of the Middle Ages. That's what you've given us. You've always exploited the naivete of the people. Inspired fanaticism, superstition, and you, a saint, the healer. The church has no need for people like you. I'm the one who needs the church. I don't wish to die this way. Rejected. So just tell me the truth. Who are you? Francesco Forgione. Known as Padre Pio from Pietrocina. Just tell me who you are. 
I don't know. I am a mystery also to myself. doing? I'm frightened. Help me. How is it possible that when I need you, you're never there? I'm frightened. to the test and left alone. But then, when I went before him, I knew nothing was going to harm me. He was my nourishment. I placed my hopes in him also. Also, when I was in despair. Very moving. But I didn't come here to hear of the childhood tribulations. Then you are mistaken. Everything started there. It was then that I understood that if I were to implore him with all my heart, he would have heard me. San Pellegri, you are such a miraculous saint. Grant me this favor for my poor son. San Pellegri, grant me this favor. I know he's not a good son, but what can I do?
really don't want to help me, then I'll leave him here. You want me to believe you've had this strange gift since childhood? I never had any gift. I've always been but a spectator of the Father's miracles. your name? Francesco. And you? I'm Friar Camillo. And who are these? This is Saint Joseph. This is Saint Francis. And this is Saint Michael the Archangel. Just a minute. One who is pierced by the arrow is Saint Sebastian. And this is Saint Anthony of Padova. I don't know them. Ah, no. Wait. You know who these are, right? Of course. Jesus and the Madonna. I see them all the time. How do you see Jesus and the Madonna? And what do they say? Lots of things. Why? Don't you see them? I guess I was never that fortunate. I don't believe it. You're just saying that because you're humble. Well, seeing that you're good friends, the next time you see them, tell them to let me see them too. Don't worry. I'll tell them. I'll send them to you. <laughs> Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to become a monk like Frere Camillo. Franchi, you know that to become a monk you need to study hard. And in order to study you need lots of money. If Franchi wants to be a monk, we will find the money. And how's that? We could sell the cow. No. Not the cow. What kind of a father are you? You care more for a beast than for your son.
If the Lord wants my son to become a monk, I will find a way for him to study. But the cow, no. The cow, no. Papa, don't leave. It's my fault that you're going so far away. studies. Life lies with Christ God. Peace and good tidings. Hey, little one. You finally come, eh? Come here. I'll present you to the Master of Novitiates. Perhaps it's best if you rest. No. So then, the life of the Novitate was hard, eh? Yes, Father. Yes. They make it that way to mortify the young men's pride. Do you know... Do you know which was St. Francis's greatest miracle? That after 700 years, 
there's still a Christian that wants to become a monk. <laughs> the way. Amen. Until you take final leave from this world, from this moment on, you will be known as Brother Pio from Petrucini. Amen. Giovanni, is that you? Giovanni? went out, and it would have again, many other times. The Lord wanted to shake me and beat me as is done with the grain, so that my spirit were to become pure. So how do you know they were not the devil's suggestions to make you become what you did? Hmm, it's true. The devil deceives. I've always been very afraid. <laughs> Very afraid. <laughs> serious? Uh, I'm afraid so, unfortunately.
receivers at 45. I've never seen anything like it. What do you advise, Doctor? He has a home. Let's send him back home. What is it, Pete? I... I... I don't want to leave. And I don't want... I don't want to die before becoming a priest. I, I want to become a priest. Father Augustino, my confessor. Peace and good tidings. Good morning. Pio, did you kid us all? <laughs> you can tell me. No, this is the air of my village. It's the air of my village. May you always be praised. Pepe, my name is no longer Franci. You must call me Padre Pio, eh? As you wish, Franci. What do you want? You have some time? Hmm. Our fields are infested with plant lice. What do I have to do with it, eh? You could offer a blessing. Send them away. If you don't send them away, we'll be ruined. Pepe, but I don't work miracles, huh? But you know someone up there. Right? Do it for the animals. What are we supposed to eat? Let's go there now. Madre Purisima, Yusare Nobis, Madre Divina Grazi. Oh, you all have to pray with me, though. And loudly, too. Otherwise, the lice won't hear. Let's start over. Madre Divinia Grazia. Madre Purissima. Madre Divinia Grazia. Madre Purissima, Madre Catissima, Crunch, Crunchy, they're dying, they're all dying, Crunchy, Mother of God, you are, you are the devil. Hey, why'd you do that? What did you do? You cursed the Madonna. If you do it again, I'll beat you. Did you understand me? Let us pray. Madre Divini Grazi, Misericordia Nobis. Madre Purissima, Misericordia Nobis. Let's hurry, Father. If my husband finds us here, he'll kill us all. Don't worry. Wait.
a serpe sal sapatina, propitiantur se tibi divinum apatum. Amen. Amen. Good, good, my good son. No, 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 I still have more to do. I didn't bless the salt, wait. in nomine Patris, omnia Pontis, et Victor Spiritus Sancti. As accepis as sapientis potentiatio de tibi seminum atum. Amen. Amen. What is it? Mother of God! What is it? What's happening? He's not breathing! How come he's not breathing? Mother! Mother, oh what do you mean? Not he's breathing. not breathing. Oh, my oh, son, my mother of God, oh, my goodness. God. he isn't God. breathing. Of God. Oh, my son. No, oh God, my son, mother of God. Uncle Tori, Uncle Tori. What is it? I killed him. Uncle, I killed him. What did you kill? I think I, I killed Pasquale's son. I drowned him with Uncle Tori's salt. Oh, holy mother of God. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Dear, the next time you play a trick like this on God, don't thank him because I will be the one to kill you. Jesus Christ be praised. Uncle Toad, Jesus Christ be praised. Am I? Please tell me. What kind of priest am I? I'm not ready yet, Lord, for what you have in mind for me. Uncle Tor, it's too much. I'm ashamed, Uncle Tor. I'm ashamed. But why? But why me? Why me? Let's ask Jesus to remove this confusion. <laughs> I want to die. I want to die of pain and suffering, but hidden. Uncle Tor, hidden. <laughs> Let's pray, my son. Let's pray. Going away, Uncle Tor. 
How do you feel? I'm all right now. Praise be to God. Keep wanting to be a priest. Get out of here. Be aware that your life will be hell. Get out of here. to bring you two pieces of news. Uh -huh. I could have written, but I preferred to come in person. What are they? <laughs> one good and one bad. <laughs> Which should I start with? With the good. You did it. The dispensation came. You can give confession. Thank you, Agassino. Don't thank me, because now comes the bad. You are leaving with me. But why? There was a meeting at the provincial Curia of Foggia. They forced Father Benedetto's hand. Neither you come back with me, or the request for secularization goes. In effect, you will no longer be a priest. But I cannot move from here. Your health is good now. Why don't you want to return? It's not me that doesn't want to. Do you realize what you're saying? The temptations are terrible, Augusti. It's all 
all a sin, Agostino. It's all a sin. Pio, I have always defended and understood you, but I can do this no more. Remember, you've given a vow of obedience. Come now, let's get going. Let's get in the carriage. Father Agusti! If you've come to take away our little saint, it's best that you go. But who told you? I think my guardian angel decided not to work too hard today. How do you dare lack respect for Father Agostino? Ask us forgiveness. We will ask for forgiveness, but you're not leaving here. All right, all right. I'm not taking anyone away. Pio. I'm no longer setting foot here. I love you, but I have no desire to get hit in the head for you. <laughs> <laughs> Augusti. When Father Benedito gets angry, because he will get angry, give him this letter. But first you read it. Huh? Peace and good tidings. supported him, defended him against everyone, and he repays me this way. He makes me look like an imbecile to my superiors. Let's wait a bit longer. You'll see that he'll think differently no. about it. He must come back right away, right now. If he doesn't, he's out of the order. Why are you so hard on him? Perhaps Pio is right. About what? Nothing. He says... He says your advisor is Satan. Ah, that's what he says about me? After all that I've done for him? No, I'll have him thrown out. Here. He sends this to you. It's the answer to those moral problems that you have with those four persons, and that you haven't resolved for months. And what does he know about it? Pio today and tell him that it, that I authorize him to remain in Pietrocina. And what would you like to do when you grow up? I want to steal a rifle. Why not a cannon then? I want a rifle. I'll go out and shoot all the potato eaters. I'll kill them all. The Austrians, the Germans. Who puts these fool things into your head? No one. There's a war, right? And I want to fight it. Did you come here for catechism or just to cause trouble? We want to go to war, too. You, too. Cross yourselves. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Cross yourselves. Everlasting Father, we offer you the blood, the passion, death of Jesus Christ, the pains of Holy Mary, and Saint Joseph. You want to take up the rifle, too? Forgive us. Go back to your home. Go on, Forgione, get undressed. to examine you. Come on. Come. Come with me. He still won't get undressed. So, for Johnny, will you undress yourself, or do I have to do it for you? But without this, I feel naked. We need you to be naked. Otherwise, how can we examine you? What's this, a 
Another habit? I bet he's wearing two pairs of underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid. Afraid of war. I wasn't a good Christian. I wasn't ready to confront my own death. Idiocies. Stop saying idiocies. War was terrible for everyone, but not for you. I know you were sent home. To send this one home with these lungs. They're infecting the entire unit. Back home if he makes it. For Joni, you're going back home. Are you happy? Augustino, <laughs> how are you? How did you know I was coming? Uh, I have my own divine sources. <laughs> and my earthly orders. What does that mean? That we're leaving right away. Where are we going? To Foggia. To Foggia? I just got here. Please give me some time to visit back home. No, 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 there's no time to say hello. You have to come with me. The orders are absolute. Come now. If we don't hurry, we'll miss the train. Pio, you have to hurry. If you don't get on this train, you'll be removed from the order. Pieces. <laughs> what did he want last night? There was a woman. She was dying. And he was telling me. This is what he said. Save her. Let me see what you can do. I don't know who that woman was, Augusti. But I know her name to be Raphaelina Rossi. Well, I know her. I've given her confession many times. Then, Augustino, take me to her. Take me to her right away. All right, Pio. Raffaellina. Uh, Padre Pio. I knew it. You were by my side last night. You were praying for me. I was saved. Be calm now. We'll pray together. But I don't want to be saved. I want to see the people who loved me again. No, no. You have to be saved. No. 
for everyone who loves you. No. No, please don't insist, Father. Please just let me die. And you'll see what I'll be able to do from paradise. Give me... Give me your blessing now, Father. Please bless me. Hurry. It's not important. You go to your sorrow. of life. Jesus, my Jesus, you who said you will concede anything I ask of you in your name, I beg of you to let her live. Jesus, let her live. Let her live. Let it go, Pio. She's dead. I was supposed to go save her. Raffaellina was very sick, but however, well prepared for death. Jesus, God, God. Ah, Jesus, God. Pio. God. Pio. You who resuscitated Lazarus. Stop it. Let her live. Let her live, Jesus. Stop it. Don't tempt God. Learn saintly humility from the people that suffer and die. <laughs> from now on, This will be your battlefield. I am presumptuous and I am proud. Why? Why does he always win? Here. Stop trying to be the priest. You don't, don't know how. I warned you. Go away! Go away! Father, Father, what's wrong? I can't breathe. I know of a place where maybe you'll be better off. It's a small convent on a hill, not far from here. If Father Agostino agrees, I'll take you there. The air is good there. What is this place called? San Giovanni Rotondo. Place. We're almost there. We've been walking. 
walking for three days. There it is. Father, you're enchanted, Father. I'll never leave here. I'll never go away from here. Padre Pio for 100 lira! Padre Pio! Buy Padre Pio! 100 lira! You lady, would you like to buy Padre Pio? No? Okay. 100 lira! Padre Pio! 100 lira! Buy Padre Pio! Did you hear how much I'm worth? 100 lira. It worked out well for me. Jesus, they sold. But they are buying me. <laughs> Why did you never leave this place? They offered you so many other seats. I had made a promise. Or did you want to make a feudal stronghold out of this place? With people ready to buy pieces of your sanctity. If you only saw the misery that I saw when I first arrived here. Where do you think you're going with this awful weather? A little rain doesn't scare us, Father. Father, did you remember to say prayers for my mother? Don't you worry. She's going to outlive the both of us. And for my brother fighting the war. That stinker has hidden in the woods in Capretto. He'll be back, though. He'll be back, don't worry. Pray, pray. Carmela. How do you know my name? I know lots of things about you. The sacrifices you make so your children can study, huh? The cold house. The bread that isn't there. But don't worry, hmm? You'll see your son settled, hmm? But if you want to get there, you have to cover yourself, huh? And you're going to put on a shawl, yes or no? But I don't have a shawl. You don't have one? Wait here a minute, hmm? Pio! 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 What has happened, Superior? Look at this. 
What is it? What is it? Somebody stole the gold from the Madonna! No. Oh, dear mother. Now I ask you, who could have done such a thing? Um... Was it you? No. Not this time. Not this time. Okay, good thing. All right, then. Tell me who could have done this, then. How in the world should I know? Maybe it was some poor thing. He would have gone to the Madonna and said, What do you need all this gold for, huh? Give it to me, hmm? Give it to me so I can buy bread for the children, huh? And the Madonna gave it to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for you, that's how it went, huh? Um... If I know the Madonna, well, yes, that's how it went. Go, 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 Don't start yelling from the high altar, all right? It's best that you go now. Over just two earrings and a bracelet. There was also a necklace as well. It wasn't real. Go away, go! Patience. Padre Pio. Peace and good tidings. Through you. Hey, come over here. Look at what I brought you. Come. We know that you are too good. But how can we repay you? We are poor people with nothing. Uh, 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 careful. You have to think of your sister now. And then what will you eat? Are you trying to stop the hand of Providence? It takes care of we brothers. Behave, huh? If not, do you see this? Yeah? God bless you. Take care of yourself. Lord, you know how much I love you. You see all. I want to take on others' sufferings as you have done. You knew how to do it, though, and I instead do not. Jesus, you see the suffering, the misery that exists here. <laughs>
Did something happen? Oh, Pio. Nico, please go prepare a cup of hot broth for Pio. Go quickly. Go, 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 go. Come, Pio. Lean on me. I'll be all right. Come, lie down on the bed. Come, Pio, calm down. Come lie down. Good, good. Pio, here you go. We're alone now. So tell me what happened. Do you want to tell me? Well, I don't know. I don't know, Pauli. I can't explain it. I heard voices. The pain on Mount Calvary. Pauli. Pauli, he was there. He was there. I felt like he... He was dying for me. <sighs> what is it, Pio? What? Pio? A spear. A spear hit me here. And it was light and fire, Paulino. Light and fire. Pio... These are the marks of the Lord. <laughs> if they keep on bleeding, Pio, I have to call a doctor. No, no. No. But you'll bleed to no, death. No, Paulino. No, don't call anyone. The Lord will cure me. We only have to pray. It's on everyone's lips at this point. They're questioning me. They want to know. All right, but I promised I wouldn't tell anyone. It's not possible to keep it hidden. You must convince them to be examined. bleed often? Continually. The more I cover them, the more they bleed. And is there pain? Day and night. But it's not the pain. It's the shame that causes the greater suffering. Establishes an inexplicable phenomenon in human science itself. The newspapers are starting to talk of this saint of San Giovanni Rotondo who performs miracles. Must we still give space to these fanatics? I went to San Giovanni Rotondo, and I can assure you that Padre Pio is an honest friar, humble. He is the first to be sorry for what is happening. Why would he lie? But you've said even more between yourselves. You've said that these marks that he has on his hands are of a supernatural nature. Yes, Father Gemelli. I wasn't alone in saying it. Professor Romanelli said it as well. It's an affirmation that it isn't based on any scientific presupposition. The church is changing today. It has to confront science. The new century imposes on us to not give space to phenomena such as this. Let us remember that the church is institution, but also prophecy, charisma. What charisma are you talking about? I have cured scores of women in hospitals who say they've seen the Madonna, 
And each year there are scores of people who claim to have the stigmata. The world is full of people that believe in the dervishes, in the shamans, in the sorcerers. We create the need for saints ourselves. Then we should undo the altars, abolish the calendars, eliminate the litanies. With this positivism, what will be left of the church? I've already given orders that from this moment no one can see Padre Pio's stigmata any longer without exact orders from the Holy See. We must be prudent and strict. If you approve, Holiness, I myself will go and examine Padre Pio. Father Gemelli, you could have alerted us that you were coming, and I would have definitely sent someone to get you. Don't worry. Where is this Padre Pio? I want to examine his stigmata immediately. Well, I'm sorry, Father, but if you don't have a written order from the Holy See, I can't allow you to. Do you know who you're talking to? Certainly, Father. I know very well, but without that order, I... I've been sent by the Pope. Uh, with all due respect, show me his order and... Uh... Isn't my word enough? However, Father, if you want to stay, you are welcome, and you will be our honored guest. Uh, in fact, you can even meet Padre Pio. Without that order, however, your request to examine him can't be accepted. There, Father Germain. What did you come here for? To see the phenomenon worthy of a carnival? Sorry, today the circus isn't working. I'm here with orders from the Pope. No. You're here because you presume that you know everything. What do you want to see? If you've already condemned me and passed judgment, go on your way. Leave me in peace. copy of the report that Father Germelli gave to the Pope. Suffering from a sick mind. A psychopath. Self-lesionist. Treated me as a criminal in front of the Pope. Don't despair, PL. We know what really happened, no? Using the mind of a knowledgeable. Listen, the real pains, the real pains are those caused by the people we love, eh? 
But forgiveness exists, hmm? And prayer is the key to forgiveness. Pray. But don't pray with sadness, huh? Don't upset the Lord. Ours is the God of joy. You understand? Pray. But pray with a smile. <laughs> As of tomorrow, we'll reunite at the house of Maria Pyle. By the way, do you still have the house? I sold everything else, Father, but not the house. Good, good. Hold on to it. Hmm? It will become our little church, huh? Okay. Pray and smile. Okay? Now go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go on. Go on. Father. This is my daughter, Cleonice. My mother says to thank you because given your prayers, I received my teaching degree. What's your mother saying? Well, you mustn't thank me, but your mother instead. She's the one who sacrificed herself for your studies. <sighs> Pull that letter out. The appointment to go and teach in Benevento. You won't go. You will stay here. But what are you saying? But it's my work! You are a presumptuous and arrogant girl. You will remain here. Thank you. I was waiting for you. The girl who took my post in Benevento was raped, and now she's in the hospital. God will help her to heal. You saved me, Father. How did you know? At times, God lets me read his notebook. And what's written about me? <sighs> that you will watch over my wounds. And woe be to those who dare to harm you. Father, I can't. My orders are not to move from here. Now listen to me. Who gives the orders here? Huh? Certain things can only be said to him. After what I've seen, there is no need. I am in need. I want to confess. I want you to hear my confession.
well. Having seen that your manifestations of sanctity no longer exist, then you must tell me why. Haven't you already understood? It's over for me. Tell me the truth. Before it's too late, was Father Gemelli right? Padre Gemelli. He said I was... I was a hysteric. He was a great doctor. And I was a poor friar. I've had to bear this sentence all my life. It was the right thing. The church needs to be cautious. Besides, it wasn't Padre Gemelli's fault. It was the fault of the devil. I know you don't like talking about this, but you must believe me. He exists. And he's shrewd. Very shrewd. Let me tell you. still haven't understood. I am a man and dark. And you are an idiot. Go away! Let's see if your faith manages to console you this time, Father. I'll remove the person who means the most to you in this world. strangulated hernia. You need to take him to Foggia and operate. He doesn't even allow us to put him in bed. Pio, did you hear what the doctor said? You need to go to Foggia. I won't move from here, you see? Father, it's serious. Let's go to Foggia where I'm Organize set up. Organize yourself here, doctor, eh? Set yourself up here. I'm not leaving the convent. All right, then. I'll see what I can do. Yes, huh? thank you, doctor. All of us here in the convent will give you as much help as possible. Be patient. Pio. Pio, explain what happened, please. We pay for everything, for better or for worse. But we pay. Everything is ready. You scoundrel. You can't wait to slip me open like a little lamb, eh? Oh, come now. This hernia, the quicker we take it out, the better. I warn you, though, doctor. I don't want anesthesia. No, I, I can't operate without anesthesia. Uh, Pia, what do no, you say? Pauli. Don't you know what he has in mind? He wants to put me to sleep? And then look at the stigmata. Isn't that right? Yes, I did. I thought about that. Well, don't think about it. My orders are not to show them to anyone, and... However, don't worry about the pain. I'm used to it. Pauli, do me a favor. Put two candles by my side. If he makes a mistake, at least I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
When did you ever see a mother kiss a hand of her son? Get up. I'm not kissing them for me, but for your brothers, Please. for your father, Please. and for your enough. uncles. Enough. Let me kiss you. Stand up. Enough. Get up. <sighs> What's wrong, Mama? What is it? Sit down. Sit down. It's nothing. It's nothing. It was the trip. It made me dizzy. But now that I've seen you, I can go back to Pietrelcina. No, no, now that you're here, stay a while with me, eh? We'll spend a Christmas together. It's better like this. You'll make me sleep with the brothers? <laughs> Careful with the steps, Mama. There. Mama, this is Maria Pyle, eh? She has a room ready for you.
days without moving. He doesn't eat, he doesn't sleep. Perhaps... if I talk to him... No, it's useless. He won't even say mass anymore. to do here. It's time for you to return home. And you? Little one, what are you doing? I'm waiting, Papa. I would appreciate if you wouldn't look at your watch during my mass. And as I was saying, pay attention, this is important. In the town, and all the children were around him. The children liked him. They told me, but I didn't want to believe it. Three hours. Three hours to celebrate the mass. No. You have to perform the Mass the same as all the other priests in the church. Thirty, thirty-five minutes is enough. In the Mass, there is the Passion of the Christ. Do you also want to time the Calvary? Those are the orders. By decree of the Holy See, from today on you are absolutely prohibited from celebrating Mass with worshippers present. The women may no longer stay in church for meditation. And the door of the order must remain locked at all times. Furthermore, you are prohibited from hearing confession from men as well as women. What am I to do? That's all I know how to do. Who will look after the souls of these poor people? You, Father Paulino, are dismissed from your duties and transferred to another convent. Father Raphael will be the new superior. Why are you taking it out on him? Punish me, not those who are not to blame. Father Raffaele, I'm trusting you for the strictest observance of these orders. given you enough bother, eh, Pauli? No. What are you saying, Pio? On the contrary, when I'm there, I'll be able to say, I have a friend who's a saint. <laughs> <laughs> what saint? Yes, and they will let me enter. What foolishness are you saying, eh? Listen, Pio. Remember, when you're in paradise, remember me. Eh, hey, it will be done. <laughs> uh, hey, hey. Now go, you're making me cry too, eh? Go. Holly.
very dear and always beloved daughters. It makes me suffer to see you out there in the cold and wind. I am touched by your love, and I love you. I love you all. Pray. Always pray, and don't scatter. I will always be your shepherd. Dear and venerated Father, you ask why I always circle around the convent. I do this to feel near you. If my father were in prison, I would circle around the prison all day. to need you. I pray in the attic from where I can see you, the convent, while you are praying in the chorus. I keep you in my thoughts, praying for you. My beloved daughter, your faith is of great comfort to me. I too have asked myself many times if it is a sin to write you. I ask the Lord to give me an answer. They have stopped him from doing everything. He's like a recluse. It's been months since anyone's gone to church. All the prayer groups are breaking up. <sighs> They've destroyed everything. <sighs> Thank you. Tell me the truth. Did you fall in love with him? Yes. But not in the way you think. Don't you believe that someone like me can understand? I also love him. More than myself at times. My life had no sense before meeting him. Nor mine. If I can't see him anymore, what will I do? Don't worry. I retrieved all the old papers. One way or another, I'll make sure that they have to give them back to us. I have to go now. Take care of yourself. This is? Read. Read the title. The Antichrists of the Church of Christ. And do you know who wrote it? Your friend Brunato. He is a blackmailer, and you must stop him. Find a way, but you have to stop him. Even the Holy Father is worried. Now that we are about to sign the Concordat with the Italian state, a scandal is the very last thing we need. Write to him. Do whatever you want, but stop him. This is an order.
What do you want? Good morning, Father. I must see Father Pio. You are absolutely prohibited. But I have to talk to him. Can't you see that you've ruined him? In Rome, they believe that he instigated everything. It isn't true. He is not at all to blame. Wait! I must talk to him! Father! Father, do you hear me? I know you hear me. I know you are angry with me. But I had no choice! This is the only way those in Rome will decide to free you. I can't obey you. I can't. Ugh. Such a long time. Such a long time. Come, let's sit. I need to talk to you. Yes. Come. Gaeta, do you mind if we continue later? Eh? Sit down, Father Raphael. Remember the time I came to Pietrelcina with two pieces of news? One good, one bad? Of course I remember. Begin with the bad news. Don't worry, I am used to it. No, Pio. This time it's only one piece, and it's wonderful. You are free. Your imprisonment is done. It's important that we don't start everything all over again. Huh? Do you understand? That's not up to me. that looked exactly like you. You saved him from a grenade that exploded nearby. Thank you. Thank you. Clear, Thank Anise, you. do me a favor. Thank Tell you. Nina if she has to get up because I can't stay here all day, huh? I have things to do. Thank eh? you. Padre Pio, what's happened to these boys? Go inside the envelope and see if you find another photograph. Which other photo? Look inside the envelope. I'm sorry, but none of the three were saved. Father. Father. Stay calm. Everything will be all right for you. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Thank you. And you? What's wrong with my friend? I want to confess, Father. Don't worry. Your soul is already cured. Yeah? Your body will soon be cured, too. This way you don't have to go to the front. Hmm? Father. 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 Please help Father. me. Father. I need, Hold on. I need please. your please. Yeah? please, Father. Father. Oh, Father, please, Father, my husband's ship, his ship sank. Don't worry. Soon you will hear news from him, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Father, Father, a miracle, a miracle. In Foggy, a large bomb fell into a five-story building and so? went down into a cellar without exploding. 
There were a long line of people praying in front of your photograph. And what of it? It's better like that, no? I ought to get a photo of this Padre Pio myself. Next one in line. Next one in line. Father, there's no one else here. Where did they go? I sent them home. How come? Because you're tired. <sighs> You've been closed in there for over 10 hours. They all come to remove the cross they bear. I have to bear it then, eh? <laughs> yes, but you can't take on all the sufferings of the world. And not all of them. Not all of them. Those that I deserve, yes. Eh? Come. Where? Outside. But it's nighttime. No, the moon is outside. I want to show you something. Look at the sky. Take a good look, Cleanes. In between the stars is... is your name. Right here, see? Look at it. I will introduce you. At what? The hospital. We can't always ask for miracles. We have to build a hospital. After the war, many people will be sick. Many people will be mutilated. Remember, Christ helps the sick. He helps the poor. Christ helps them twice as much. We will get rid of all the bushes. We will cut through the mountains. We will open the rocks and build a large house that gives relief to the sufferings of the poor. And here, remember this, the best doctors in the world will come. Ah, yes, but with what money? Hmm. Don't worry, the Madonna opens hearts. But also wallets. <laughs> Those are airplanes. Father, let's go. Yesterday in Benevento, over a hundred people were killed. What danger are we in? It's just the two of us. So then, what did Maria Pyle do? She sold every last thing she had in the world. She collected over 20 million. Added to the 10 we already have, it makes 30. It's still too little, you know. Still too little for what we have in mind to do. We need a miracle. A miracle? Ah, or someone who will also tie up the devil. Hey, you little scoundrel. Come here. How Good, Father. How are you? Good to see you. Ah, uh, give me a big kiss. Uh. So how did it go? I did it. I sold. Don't worry. This is Angelo Battisti. Uh, I'm sorry, huh? Uh, Emmanuel Brunato. My pleasure. Pleasure. It was hard with all the Germans that are around in Paris. Uh, uh. However, a good deal is a good deal. Even in wartime. Mm. <laughs> This is a, a letter of credit. It's for three million French francs. Yeah, give it to him. He's taking care of the administration. Please. 
Now you can come and confess to me all the rotten things you did in Paris to get this money. Not much. Not much. Not much? Of well, we'll see if it's not much. Engineer, Mr. Candeloro. Ah, engineer. Father. Father, I believe I owe you an apology. But why? Don't worry. You have drawn up a wonderful plan. Father, my name isn't Candeloro. It's Angelino Lupi. I'm not a real engineer. I'm a photographer. He isn't an engineer? So what do you do? A photographer, Father. Well, you're not even a good photographer. Huh? Remember when you photograph the dead and you rub their faces with tepid water to make them seem alive? You remember? Hmm? Then you were a carpenter. So you were a carpenter. Then you were a bricklayer. You were also a swindler. And then you come here to see me. Now you only have to think of building what you planned. I cannot, Father. Why not? Why can't you? An engineer from Foggia denounced me from usurping the title. I'll wind up in prison, Father. Ah, where did the engineers from Foggia get his degree? Tell me, who gave it to him? From the professors, right? <laughs> you got yours directly from the Eternal Father. <laughs> Stop now with this nonsense. Yes or no? Eh? Yes or no? Go away. Go away. Go away. Oh. Is this a market? It's a market. A market! Hear one praise. Comes to pray. Go away. Go on home. A nice gesture. Demonstrative. But it doesn't seem that you were listened to. This town has built an industry around the friar with the stigmata. They have nothing else. But you have corrupted them. And he who abuses the poverty of a brother is guilty towards his own brother and towards God. I only try to help them. No. You played on people's fear. During the war, it was easy to say, this one will come back, this one won't. 
You trusted in the law of averages to build up your fame as a saint. But what saint? Stop this false humility! You always played the victim, the persecuted. You always wanted us to believe that the church condemned you. That's not true. And no, it's not true. There were popes who ostracized you, but others, like Pope Pacelli and Pope Montini, who loved you. I also always loved the church. If you refuse again and again to recognize your sins, then there will be no excuse. And I ask myself, what am I doing here? I am wasting my time. <coughs> At this point, you don't need me, you need a doctor. I'll go and get someone. No, wait. Don't leave me. Don't leave me alone. I want to tell you something. That happened many years ago. What has happened? There are so many people. You're too tired now. Come back tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Are these people who need to speak? Who's that? There is a young priest here waiting for you. He comes from far off. Then I can't possibly refuse him. I still pray for him today. I pray for him still. One day he will be Pope. A good Pope. Remember this. This way you will know if I tell the truth or not. Do you want to rest or go on? In the town I come from, they say three things are useless. Wash the heads of the hard heads, add water to the sea, and talk to the priests. You know, you and I met before, many years ago. You walked by me without even looking my way. Are you telling me you were actually in two places at the same time? Do you know that in other times you would have been accused of sorcery? And that the only true symbol for the Christian is Jesus Christ? I only took Christ inside my flesh. Do you consider yourself another Christ? Some sort of a 
co-redeemer? No. Isn't that what you want others to believe? I... I only participated in his suffering. to Petrochina for a while. Okay, Papa. Go back there. But you see, I have no money for the trip. Can you give me some? Me? Papa, I have no money. What do you mean you have none? Huh? It comes to you from all over. Papa, that's not my money. It's needed to build the hospital. But stay here. You are so well off here. See, see what a son he is. I went to America two times so he... so he could study. And now he won't give me that little bit of money to go to Petrochina. I have no money. Papa! Papa, what's wrong? Papa, what's the matter? What's the matter, Papa? Someone help! Help! Papa, I want to take your confession. What are you saying? Am I that sick? Yes. Wait a minute, Franchi. If you tell him yourself, then maybe he'll cure me. I can't, Papa. There's a pact between us that I can't ask him for anything. He does everything for everyone else, but nothing for me. But I am afraid. I don't want to die. Tell him, Franchi, he listens to you. I can't, Papa. Confess. Are you ashamed? Then let's do this, Papa. I will tell you your sins, and you will answer me. Lord, forgive me. Is that all right? Betrayed Mama with that American woman. How did you know that? Papa, just answer. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. For the three sheep you sold without telling anybody at home. Lord, forgive me. For the time you were drunk and you beat Michelle at the confines of the field. Lord, forgive me. 
for all the times you sent Mama into the fields, even when she was pregnant. Lord, please forgive me. There, Papa. I absolve you of all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, Spirit. Friendship. Hold my hand. Did he forgive me? <laughs> I told him that my father has calluses on his hands, but he has a tender in Christ, the house for relief and suffering is finally complete. I thank all the benefactors from each part of the world. This is the creature that Providence wanted. With your help, 
I present it to you. Admire it and bless it together with us. And everyone work to this apostolate of relief for the soul and wounded bodies. have a mission to cure the sick person, eh? But if you don't also bring love to his bed, remember that medicine is not enough. And remember something else. Hospitals are made for the sick, not for the doctors, eh? What is the saying? Better a mouse between two cats than a sick person between two doctors. <laughs> I'll leave now before they make me sick too. <laughs> Father, we don't have much time. No, thank you. I'm fine standing. It must really be something serious if the entire major state moved everything. Tell me, what did I do this time? No, this time we're not here to punish you but because we need you. We put our faith in a banker that wasn't worthy of it. We gave him all our money to invest and to make it grow. With the proceeds, we counted on being able to build new convents. But he went bankrupt, and now we must give back the money to all the faithful who entrusted us with their life savings. And this banker of God, this wizard of lending and doubling, how much interest was he giving you? Uh, times even 90%. We weren't the only ones involved, but lots of other religious orders. If we don't resolve this business, a scandal will blow up, overwhelming us all. I can only pray for you hoping that the Lord will hear me. Maybe you haven't understood, Father. We need the funds you collected for the hospital. That money was entrusted to me so that I... so that I could help cure the sick, not to pay your debts. I don't think it's necessary to remind you that you took the vow of obedience. And I am obeying. 
Ah, yes, I am obeying. Here. Take it. I am giving you all that I have. Here it is. A candy here. The hospital's money will not be touched. Is this your final answer, Father? I only have one. The war has started again. Huh? What can you do? That's the work of Satan that pits brother against brother. It's robbery. Defend yourself. At least this time. I can't do it anymore, Emmanuel. I am tired. I pray to God that he calls me soon and frees me from this. Besides, I can't upset the Lord yet again. Uh, I can do it. How old are you, Emmanuel? Uh, Seventy, Father. Why? At seventy, Emmanuel, you still want to raise the dust? Huh? It's no longer something for you to do. Think of saving yourself. I can't see you this way. This also happened to Jesus. here. Okay. Hey, look at me for a minute. Look at what I brought you. Hey, little one, you don't want it? Then you eat it. Go on. Paper and pen. Write. Write. Dearest Giuseppe, don't worry. The Father is praying for your wife's health. But you pray also, hmm? It's stronger if we both pray. Padre, did you call for me? Since the Madonna has decided I must stay here, let's get moving. Pellegrini. Let's get moving. Pain is fought with good works. Ah, Pellegrini, when, when you answer them, put a little money in the envelope, hmm? These are needy people. But remember, eh? Write it down. Gemma. It's Gemma, Pellegrini. Remember her? That child was born without pupils. Now she can see. She's in school. And Jelly, listen. You must find very large rooms. You understand very large rooms. We have to open a food cooperative. Hmm? Okay, Father. Come to me with any problems you encounter. I will let you Think know, Father. It. Go on. Go on. And Jelly. Yes. Find out the prices. They have to be lower. Lower than those of the communists. Yes, very well. Eh? Well then.
favorite dessert. Ah, thank you. Mmm, it smells so good. This is good. It's good, thank you. Cleonice, there are bad feelings around, you know. It's better that you don't show yourself at the convent. But, Father, I can't be without you. Hey, you are always with Jesus, huh? And if you will, he's more important than I am. <laughs> don't worry. You will always have a place here, here in my heart. What will you do, Father? <coughs> gift of this handkerchief. Go on. That way I can wave to you from above. Why do you have to wave to me? Where do you have to go? Around. To do some damage. You will see, Cleonice. Padre Pio will stir things up more in death than in life. You'll see. What are you saying? You will always be with us. for you. Huh? I, Father Augustino from San Marco in Lamas, take the vow and promise to God Omnipotent Father and to Blessed Father San Francesco for all my life to observe the life and rule of the Friars Minor, living in obedience without any possessions and in chastity. And I, Padre Pio from Petrosine, if you observe all these things, promise on behalf of God, eternal life, so kind as to leave us alone.
First of all, I want to know why you have not yet transferred the shares of the Casa Solievo to the IOR, as you were ordered to. Lately, I haven't been too well. It is inconceivable that a friar who has taken the vow of poverty should manage hundreds of millions. I don't manage anything. It's in the hands of the administration council. However, give me the papers and I will sign what you want. I will sign everything. Just let me remain as a priest. We have to speak about that too. with you. I've never believed you. You have a visionary mind that, with the intensity of thinking you are Christ crucified, made the stigmata appear. Hmm. And try thinking intensely that you are a bull. Hmm? Let's see if horns grow. It's been said that you've had uh, intimate relationships with some of the women from your prayer groups. It's not true. It's all slander. But you cannot deny having a privileged relationship with a certain Cleonice Morcaldi. It's true. I don't deny anything. Cleonice is my privileged daughter. But, but Francesco also elected Chiara. Chiara went into a convent. Cleonice instead went into your cell. Cleonice was a rebellious girl. If I wasn't close to her, she would have been lost. And you? Have you saved her or damaged her? had to hear so much malicious gossip. She was the only one who stood by me, you know. I need consolation, too. Now you admit your weakness. Your relationship with Cleonice was not only spiritual. That's enough. Enough! Who gave you the right to come here and insult me? Haven't you seen me? Take a good look at me. I'm over 70 years old. I'm old. I'm tired. I'm sick. And yet you have the courage to accuse me of sinning with a woman, huh? I am searching for the truth. No. No, you are searching for a lie. To obtain it, you even made yourself into a desecrator. A bishop who robs gods of his most sacred secrets. Who gave the order to fill my confessional with microphones? Who? It's not true. I didn't give that order. Yes, this time I'm the one who doesn't believe. I'm the one. You knew and did nothing to prevent it from happening. Where are you going? I order you to come back. We have not finished yet. I have. I have. If you have an order, send it to me by letter. I receive so many, you know. One more will cost me nothing to read it.
Hurry, run to the hospital. Get a doctor and bring him here. You should stay in bed. He thinks he defeated me. He doesn't know that this is the final battle. I cannot lose. The last duel with him. Why does evil exist in the world? Listen carefully to me. A mother is embroidering a canvas, and her little one is sitting by her side. He's sitting, though, on, on a low stool. The little one looks at his mother's work, but he looks at it from the reverse side, underneath and says, Mama, what are you doing? How ugly this embroidery is, no? What does the mother do? She lowers the canvas and shows him the good side of the work. All the colors in place and all the threads compose harmoniously in the design. Of 
Jesus Christ. I will order you Satan. Leave her in peace. Leave her in peace. See the evil? The evil is like... It's like the back of the embroidery. We are all seated on a low stool. This is my story. The story of the son of poor farmers who came into the world poor and who will leave it poor. It's true, I committed many errors and perhaps there is no man worse than me in the world. I've been cantankerous, ignorant, and I caused much bother, but I think, I think I've paid enough for them. Am I boring you? Please go on. You claim that I betrayed the faith of the people, that I tricked them. But I, I had to make a choice between a choice between the judgment of the church and miserable desperation. Christ was the one who seized me and said, continue, continue, continue. I, I don't know all of the master's designs. It can be said that I invented everything myself. Now, Even if you don't want to, please give me absolution. Don't make me end up like that, that poor boy. Which boy? That boy. Gave him right. Fear is human. But however, I gave him absolution. 
now though, take care of me. you, condemned you. The church did what it had to do. If you hadn't persecuted me, I wouldn't have been able to save myself. God, such a blindness. Often like the disciples of old, Christ passes near us, walks with us, we don't recognize him. I wonder if you and God can ever forgive me. We both already have. Now you are the one who must give absolution. From the power conferred on me by the church, I absolve you of all your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Leave now. I've already taken too much of your time. Before leaving, however, I want you to know that the Holy Father thinks of you with affection. Thank you. He's a wonderful Pope. Tell him to say a prayer for me. No, Father. It's he who asks you. And, and also I ask you to say a prayer.
whenever you wish. On May 2nd, 1999, Pope John Paul II formally declares him beatified. Each year, over 7 million of the faithful go to the sanctuary in San Giovanni Rotundo to visit his tomb. 